Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. I'm really sorry for the really long gap of video. Okay, I've been really busy. Um, so I'm back now. Let's do this. Chapter 12, Coordination and Response in Humans. And the subtopic for today will be 12.1, Coordination and Response. It's a very short topic. Very quickly, we'll finish this up. I hope you are ready with your pen and paper. And let's do this. Okay, as usual, let's look at the learning standards. So, 12.1.1, make a sequence and describe the components, all right, uh, in human coordination. All right, so we have a uh, stimulus, okay, effector, receptor, response, and also the integ integration center. Okay, so this is in a flow map, so we will see that. Okay, identify and describe external and internal stimuli. Okay, list the types of sensory receptor based on stimuli. So we have chemoreceptors, mechanoreceptor, photoreceptor, thermoreceptor, baroreceptor, and nociceptor. We'll see all that. And justify the necessity to respond to external and internal stimuli. Is it important? All right. Okay, now. Uh, before we go into all that, so let's look at this. Sophia the robot. You know, in your, when in your textbook they introduce you to Sophia. Who is Sophia? What is Sophia? Okay, Sophia is a social humanoid robot developed by Hong Kong uh, based company called Hanson Robotics. Okay, Sophia was first turned on. Okay, she was built, but she was turned on first on February 14, 2016. Okay, what can she do? Sophia is able to imitate human gestures and also facial expressions, okay, and is able to answer certain questions and also to make simple conversations, okay, on predefined topics, okay, example on weather, they can uh, talk about weather with you, <laughs> alright, uh, but whatever that is actually um, uh, included in their system. Alright, so this AI program, uh, artificial intel intelligence program, I used to create Sophia, helps her to analyze conversation, extract data and all that allows it to improve responses in the future okay so Hansen designed Sophia to be a suitable companion for the elderly okay in a nursing homes and also to help crowds at a large events or parks so he has said that he hopes that the robot can uh, actually ultimately interact with other humans sufficiently to gain social skills okay Sophia is marketed as a social robot and that that can actually mimic social behavior and induce feeling of love in humans. Yes, so there are a few videos here you can go and watch. There are many videos actually. So you go to YouTube, you type Sophia the Robot, you can see all kinds of interviews that she has done. So why not? Have a look. Okay, now let's look at the meaning of coordination. Okay. Coordination is actually the process involved in detection of stimulus and also the, and the subsequent response. Detect stimulus and response of the organism towards a stimulus. Okay, so stimulus, uh, each response to stimulus needs to be coordinated with, with each other. Okay, so if not, then the responses, there will be too many responses uh, and it will be chaos. Alright, so examples, eating. Okay, eating requires coordination. So eating requires muscle coordination to get food in the mouth and then causes chewing. Okay, it also uh, requires uh, swallowing and peristalsis and the coordination of the gland to secrete saliva and digestive juice at the right time. So these are all coordination to help your digestion. So if, if this doesn't coordinate with one another, then, you know, digestion cannot happen. So that's go, there, the same goes with other uh, uh, responses, other stimulus. Okay, um, now components in human uh, coordination. We have stimulus, receptor, integration center, effector and response. So now what is stimulus? Stimulus is any change in the environment. Okay, any change that brings out a response in organism. For example, light, temperature, um, water balance, blood pressure. Okay, um, uh, anything okay that causes change in the environment okay um, receptor is a sensory cell or organs okay that receive the stimuli from the environment for example light you see too much of light so your uh, receptor will be your eye receptor okay uh, they receive uh, stimuli from the environment okay and then convert them into nerve impulses before sending uh, the information to the integration center okay 
through the afferent pathway. Later, we will see what is the afferent pathway. Okay, then we have the integration center. Integration center is the brain and the spinal cord. Okay, so part of the brain that analyzes and then interprets nerve impulses from the receptors and then decides on the appropriate response to take. So that's a function of the brain. And then effector is the uh, muscles, okay, or the organs that produces the response, okay, when stimulated by the nerve impulses, okay. So again, uh, so uh, the receptor is the receptor in the organ, okay, that detect. So this one receptor detect. Integration center, we have brain uh, or we say spinal cord. Okay, and effector, we have the uh, muscles, muscles or organs okay that works to respond to the stimulus okay and res response is the reaction okay reaction of the organism towards the stimulus reaction all right so the flow is like this okay for all the coordination we have stimulus receptor then you go to the integration center which will process the information and then send to the effector the information and so that it can produce a response so all these are the same flow eh? one to five the same for all kinds of coordination which we will see further in this subtopic okay yeah so this is the what uh, this is the one that i am actually uh, referring to okay response and coordination so we have uh, stimuli okay what is stimuli just now you have seen the external and the internal stimuli. So now, just now I've mentioned like, you know, body temperature or whatever. So that is internal. What is happening in your body? So in the internal uh, internal stimuli, we have body temperature, osmotic pressure, and also oxygen content. External, we have touch, sound, light, temperature also, by external temperature, environment temperature, smell, and also taste, which will then lead to coordination, okay? coordination in the integration center and also then will produce the response okay so uh, humans and animals actually respond to the external and internal stimuli okay by coordinating function okay throughout the body all right can okay so here is an example that i can show you all right so uh, let's say there's a change in the uh, external or the internal environment let's say uh, it's too hot Okay, the weather is too hot. All right, so what will happen is that the stimulus is that the temperature. Stimulus in this case is temperature. Okay, so this stimulus will be detected by the receptor. Receptor in the skin. Okay, receptor in the skin will actually um, be uh, triggered. Okay, towards the stimuli. So what happens is that then it will transport the information. Okay, through the afferent neuron. Okay, afferent neuron or we call it a sensory. Okay, sensory or afferent neuron. Alright, to the integrating center, which is either the brain or the spinal cord. Let us say uh, this one is the brain. Okay, so what the brain will do? Brain will process the information. Okay, we'll process the information and think, okay, what should we do now? Okay, so once it's decided, so it will send out the nerve impulses send out back the nerve impulses okay to the through the efferent neuron or we call it as a motor neuron okay motor neuron all right to the effector okay from the brain to the effector all right so the effector can either be the uh, e uh, erector muscle or the swell can any of it or both maybe one maybe both or two or maybe other uh, muscles okay so gland here, sweat gland, and the muscles here, erector muscles. So both at the same time. So what happens is the reaction. The reaction is that the hair lie flat on the skin because it's too hot. So the hair will lie flat and then sweat is produced. You actually feel thirsty also. So that is also another response. Feel, uh, you feel thirsty. Okay, so uh, that is also a response towards the stimulus. Stimulus is this now. We call it as uh, temperature. Okay, environment, temperature. Okay, this is another example. Okay, example of uh, light and sound. So, what happened? The coordination is a, a stimuli detection process. Okay, by receptor that ends in appropriate response by effector. Okay, coordination also actually ensures the overall activities 
and the and systems of an organism to function and also synchronize perfectly okay and the role of coordination and response is actually conducted by two separate systems nervous system and also the endocrine system will actually then work together to coordinate and control the response so now here the examples is light and sound okay so for example here let's say um, we have the stimulus here light from the candle okay light from the candle then detected by the receptor uh, in the eye okay photoreceptors in the retina of the eyes okay and then sent to the integration center through the sensory neuron okay through the sensory neuron to the integration center okay usually the visual center of the brain and then through the efferent neuron it is sent to the effector efferent or we call it as motor neuron okay sent to the effector which is the muscles in the legs okay and then it produces a response towards the candle that means we move towards the candle uh, for anything any other purpose all right so this is a response so this is a uh, the pathway okay stimulus receptor integration center effector and the response okay so this is another example given uh, in your textbook so you can have a look at this also all right so we have stimulus okay example sound of the phone ringing eh? detected by sensory receptor okay and then it transform into nerve impulses sent to the integration center okay which is the brain interpreted and triggered then the impulses are then again sent to the uh, through the motor neuron to the effector effector will be the hand muscle so the response is answer the telephone so that is the pathway basic pathway okay another example body temperature so this is uh, same thing again the same thing normal body temperature when it increases okay the stimulus is a change in the blood temperature okay what happened is that then the receptors will detect temperature in the ten temperature sensitive cells uh, in the hypothalamus will detect it and then uh, send to the integration center which is the thermoregulatory center in the hypothalamus okay and then what happens is that the effectors which is the smooth muscle of the arterioles uh, sweat gland erector muscles of the skin skeletal muscle and adrenal gland and also thyroid gland will be uh, will get all the information from the integration center and then produces a response towards activities uh, to heat loss from the blood vessel and then the blood temperature can be back to normal so it regulates the body coordination so whatever increase has to be reduced okay all right so the types of receptors we have is uh, we have seen just now we have photoreceptor thermoreceptor chemoreceptor baroreceptor mechano and nocino nociceptor okay photo means light okay thermo means temperature chemo means chemical baro means pressure okay mechano mechano means to touch and pressure okay and nociceptor is towards pain all right so this one you have to remember all right so all receptor can be considered as energy converters okay and receptor can convert one form of energy into another for example eye photoreceptor converts light energy to electrical signals which is a form accepted by the nervous system okay and these sensory uh, receptors are usually found at the end of nerve fibers to um, which detect information in the external and uh, internal environments okay and the location of the receptors will be depending on the type of stimulus all right so each of the receptors are usually sensitive to specific stimulus all right so um yeah so the sensory receptor that detect internal stimuli are present in specific internal organs for example um pancreatic cells okay they detect the blood sugar level all right so there are some of the examples ah uh, yeah okay necessity why do organism have to respond to stimuli and uh, uh, stimuli that means the external or the internal stimuli okay the ability of organism to actually detect changes in the external environment and its response to the stimuli is very important for the survival of the organism okay for some animals a sudden change in the climate conditions okay motivates the animals to look for new shelters and the ability of organism to detect changes in the internal environment is also crucial okay so that the information can be transmitted to the integration center 
and the integration center will then transmit this information to the effectors okay to respond to the changes okay for example when the body temperature increases above the normal range okay this information will be transmitted to the integration center by a receptor okay we follow the flow now the integration center will then send nerve impulses to the effectors to decrease the temperature back to its normal range so in conclusion humans and animals need to respond uh, to adapt to the changes in the environment right okay so we are done actually so um let's do practice 2.1 quite simple what is the meaning of response you have the answers uh which sensory organ has mechanoreceptor as sensory receptor mechanoreceptor uh, you know what stimulus it detects so you have to find out okay and then uh which sensory organ okay and in your opinion why coordination is crucial to humans why is it important why are we having this um coordination Okay, now you feel a mosquito bite on your leg number four and you and you hit it. Yeah. Describe the pathway involved in detecting and responding to the stimulus of the mosquito bite. So basic, same thing, the, the, the flow just now you have seen. I've repeated like I think in a few slides. Go through that again and then try to uh, change it according to mosquito bite. Okay, so with that we are done. Okay, with that we are done for today. So I hope you like and uh, subscribe to my channel as usual and I hope this helps. Uh, if you have any comments, do leave it in the comments below. I will definitely try to attend to it. Uh, yeah, okay, that's all for today. Bye-bye.